Hey, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. Welcome back to Stella the Shop Dog, just lounging on the cold concrete on a hot summer's day here in Portland, Oregon. That's what we like to do, lay around on the concrete, cool our buns. It's a good puppy. Behind Stella the Shop Dog here, let me turn the lights on a little bit. We have a new arrival. This is a new Isetta. I serviced it once before. It is gorgeous. Baby blue with white walls. Mm, mm, mm. Really nice. Not original, but really, really a nice restoration. Has the two-tone paint that actually goes down below the bumper. Has the tropical air door. Just in for a basic service. It's probably just the easiest one I'm gonna be able to fix this week. Uh, if you recall, we put a new cylinder and piston in IMA and still smoked, so we're rebuilding the head. I've taken the head, uh, one of my spare heads, to the machine shop to get some new valves put in it, and we're going to put that on IMA's block, which is back on the cart. And then we've got Isetas, oh my gosh, all over the place. Let me turn the lights on back here in the corner of the shop. This is a British built Isetta has way different tail lights. Do you see the little fins on there? Cool little detail, four little jet wings on there. And the brake light is in the center. This is a British built for the Canadian market. Lots of unique little features that other Isettas don't have, like Lucas Electronics instead of Bosch, and an ax handle for a, uh, e-brake. You can see that in there. It's pretty cool. Totally different car, but unique. Uh, we're going to get this car hopefully done today. The Cabriolet slider window. I have all the parts for it, and I'm hoping that it's ready to go. So we're going to swap cars around here a little bit and do a little Lysetta parade, dance, figure them out, fix them, make everybody happy. Okay, so we've shuffled our Isettas around. We have the Cabriolet up on the rack. And Stella, shop dog, has made herself very comfortable on the shop floor, trying to keep her belly cool. And that's a good puppy. What a sweet dog. Ima, been shoved in the corner again. Poor little thing. They come different, uh, uh, different, I guess. A cast iron to me is better because it's a better heat sink. I didn't know they came with cast iron or stamped steel. So the problem we've been having is this edge right here has been rubbing on the inside of the backing plate. I don't know if the backing plate's bent or if there's a cabriolet versus a regular difference, but we want to upgrade to the, the cast iron drums for better heat dissipation. So we're going to put those on. And then we have a spacer for a radial tire. Put that on. That still seems pretty tight right through there. Might have to do some trimming or try to bend that a little bit. I don't know how, what, I don't know how that happens. It's got a pretty good gap back here and no gap up here. Oh. All right, good morning, two-stroke turbo fans. Welcome to another Isetta day. You'll notice my work bay is empty. And we've got an idling Isetta Cabriolet out here. We're going to take it for a little road test. We've done a lot of work on this thing in two parts. A uh, customer really loves this thing. The last time it came in, it had oil streaming out the back. And I'm hoping I got all that fixed. It was missing this tube called the road draft tube. Uh, it may have compression issues. It's a little low on compression. It runs great. We're gonna find out, so let's open the gate and take it for a drive. See how she does. Oh, the shop dog doesn't want to come. He's too busy searching the back of the shop for squirrels, and that's okay. This is a really nice Cabriolet. I don't want to get white dog hair in it. I try not to take Stella on customer test drives, but every now and then she finds her way in. She's just gonna lay down and wait for me to return. Good dog. Not so hot today, it's only 90. Yesterday was 105. Should be a perfect day for a nice set of tests. This thing's running great. We put in a new gas valve. We fixed the brakes, I think, finally from rubbing. 
new speedometer, turn signal issue, horn issue, and the oil leaking issue, I hope, is fixed. We'll know here once we rev her up, take her for a quick little drive around the block. You can see the license plate dancing. That means you've got this car tuned up right. It's supposed to vibrate. It's a one cylinder, 13 horsepower wonder. What a great little machine. Okay, we're inside the Isetta now. It runs great, or seems to idle great. I'm gonna get it down in first gear here. I can find it, there it is. We redid the speedometer, it looks great. Let's make sure it works. Looks like it's working. That's always good. Let's give her the beans. Second gear. Let's try the brakes to see if they pull. Oh, they do pull a little bit, but they are responsive. They seem to pull less the more I use them. Back down in the first gear. If I can get it in the first gear. There we go. Make sure there's no cars coming, which there is a big Suburban and another car coming around the corner. We're gonna let them go by. This car has been a lot of work. The horn is still, I think, a little issuey. We'll see once we start doing some turns. First gear. Second gear. Wanna crash into a dump truck? Let's give her full throttle. Full throttle a second. Third. Engine sounding good. Hasn't thrown a rod yet. When this thing came in, it had no oil in it, like none. All outside the car. This is actually a great running car. Fourth gear. And we're gonna turn. Oh! Kind of a scrapey sound from one of the brakes. Don't really like that. Let's see, back down into first gear. Oh, there we go. Revs out good. Hope we're not putting oil out the back. Looking in the mirror, I don't see a bunch of oil out there, but we'll find out here. First gear around the parking lot. Turn signal, whoop. Turn signal back on, whoop. Oh, we got a horn issue, yep. Yep, turning, turning right, okay. Second gear, full throttle this thing, here we go. Not super powerful. Third gear, seems to lose a little power on the top end. I'm not sure what that's about. Third gear picks up pretty good. Let's try for fourth. Good, good, good. Okay, hard on the brakes. They work all right. They're not scraping, that's good. Okay, we need to get down into like second gear. Right there, second gear. That's good, she's running great. All right, let's check the oil. I want to see if this thing has spewed oil outside. So leave it running. We're going to put the brake on. Open her up. Make sure she's in neutral. Yes, she is. Oh, come on, baby. Tell me there's not oil out there. Oh, no oil. That's pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Comes down to idle nice. Engine sounds good. I think we're pretty good. There's a couple issues. The horn, when you turn right, does come on. I gotta fix that. And a couple other little things. Yay, this Isetta is like 99.9% .9 done. That's a victory. Thanks for following along. We'll catch you on the next roundabout. Oh, don't wanna get run over by the neighbor. So much fun. I love my job. Driving this Isetta was so much fun. We're going on a bonus, a bonus test drive. I want to make sure I got the horn fixed. <laughs> Second gear, revved up pretty good. Third gear, let's see what we get this thing up to. It runs great. A little low on power. I think it's because it's got low compression. It's 35 miles an hour and we're going to turn into the park once again. We got to wait for a couple of trucks to go by. Hopefully we don't get smashed. Back down into first gear. One more car to go by. Could have gone, I guess. Look at all the black marks on the street. Okay. Turn our turn signal off. If 
I fix the oil thing on this, that customer is going to be so happy we don't have to rebuild his engine. I wasn't sure what was going on there. Making sure the oil stain on the street wasn't for me. You can see oil coming out there on the street. I don't think that's for me. Okay, here we go. First gear, no horn honking. Got away from that guy. Second gear, whoops. Kind of popped the clutch, rev it up. That's it. Third gear. Give her the beans. See if we can get up to 40 miles an hour. Fourth gear. Runs great. Oh, slam on the brakes. Brakes are marginal. Oh, got a guy in my way. I'm going to go around him on this way. Over here. He doesn't seem to care. Jack down the second gear. First gear, sorry. Back down to the first gear, dog leg. Oh, this thing's running good. I'm so happy. Bonus test drive, guys. Okay, we got neutral. Let's make sure there's no oil coming out of the engine. Oh, it's great. A little bit of blow by. Out the puke. Should idle down here in a second. That's awesome. Ah, I am happy. Great little car. You know, I think this deserves a, a horn tooth. They worked so hard on this horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun.